Hello, this is Myra McElhaney. I'm a board uh, member of Dress for Success Atlanta, and I'm here today with Nancy Lewis, who has a company called Progressive Technique. Nancy, thank you for being here today. It's my pleasure, Myra. I'm happy always to assist in whatever way I can. Thank you. Tell us about Progressive Techniques, how long you've been doing that, and what exactly it is that you do. Well, you know, I've been doing the business uh, in a couple weeks, 25 years. I was like, 25 years as a full-time entrepreneur. So I'm just very thankful to God for being here for 25 years because there's been a lot of walks of faith. There's been a lot of challenges, a lot of things we've had to endure, but I'm still standing. So I'm very thankful for that. So what we do is we provide management development training and professional development training in the area of diversity inclusion, unconscious bias, emotional intelligence, leadership. We call them the soft skills, but they're really essential skills for organizations to help their people. We also do management training in terms of helping people in terms of HR. I worked in HR, so sometimes I help with cultural changes within organizations and things of that nature. And then, of course, I love doing executive and business coaching. I love working with executives and their leaders and just everyday people helping them tap into more of their greatness. So that's what we do. That's wonderful. And I know the work you do is so important these days with businesses. Yes. So I know that you have another company called uh, or an organization called Transforming Women Entrepreneurs. Can you tell us about that? Well, Transforming Women Entrepreneurs was birthed 13 years ago. A colleague and I were talking about we wanted to do a platform for women to come together where they could, where they could, so with eagles, they could be with people that were visionaries, people who wanted to do great things. We wanted to kind of create a, a little niche. And so we launched Transforming Women Entrepreneurs at a private club downtown, and that's how it started. And so after the first year, my co-founder said, you know what, I think I want to do something else. And so I said, I want to continue this. So 12 years later, we're still doing, doing the event this year, the first time virtual, but we've done it 12 years successfully at different locations. And this has been a blessing because I get a chance to highlight wonderful women, business women, some entrepreneurs, some corporately attached, some government attached, some who are one foot in, one foot out, but just helping to highlight women who are doing some significant thing, things in the community, in their business, in, in life. And we allow men to attend, but women are the speakers. <laughs> wonderful. Well, you certainly have longevity in both of those endeavors. Uh, tell us, where did your passion in working specifically with women come from? Well, I just kept seeing people kept coming to me, asking me questions about, you know, you're a strong woman. I said, well, I was raised by a strong woman, but I have strong faith as a minister as well. I have strong faith. And I just really wanted to be a catalyst and for helping young girls, specifically I'm on some nonprofit boards where I work with young girls, helping to pour into them at an early age so they can develop and have the self-esteem and the confidence to know that they can do whatever they want to do. They can be whoever they want to be. So that kind of started from that standpoint. And then I found myself working with a lot of my family members friends. And then it's just, it just was an evolution. I mean, I coach men as well. I work and help everybody with the, the passion in terms of helping women to sometimes step into their greatness. Because I see sometimes women, when they go for interviews, they don't ask for what they're really worth. Sometimes when they're applying for a job, if they don't have all the skill sets, if they're asking for seven things, you may have three, you say, well, no, I don't think so. But a man will go for it. So I'm trying to encourage people, get out of the box, get out of your own way. So. Wonderful. Thank you so much for all the work that you do on behalf of women. And thank you for being with us today to celebrate Women's History Month with Dress for Success Atlanta. And um, if you are listening today and you think, I would like to empower women and I want to do something to help. Did you know that by giving just the equivalent of one hour's pay, you can help a Dress for Success woman to get programs, services, and tools that will empower her to achieve economic advancement. So if you want further information or you wanna give a donation, go to atlanta.dressforsuccess.org for more information or to make a donation. Thank you so much, Nancy, for being with us today. It's my pleasure. Thank you for inviting me. So I'm just appreciative of just being able to make a mark and just make a difference in the lives of women and men across the country with what we do because it's just, a, it's, I'm working in my path, I'm walking in my passion. And when passion and purpose connect, you walk in your destiny. So I'm very thankful to God for doing what I love to do. So. That is so wonderful. I know that you are helping lots of women over the years. I can't imagine the ripple effect of what you've done. Thank you so much for being here with us, Nancy. Thank you for having me here today, Myra.